Here's the tutorial on the dragon. This is my first one, so I hope I do okay for you guys. You're gonna want your plastic wrap, cheap plastic wrap. I think I got it from Dollar Tree. And I use the green patina, which I'll explain in a little bit, which you don't have to use. You can get just a quart of like sage green at Walmart or something. Tacky glue and leather brown spray paint. Either one works, you know, they're both fine. And twine, you're gonna want some twine on there. And of course, you're gonna wanna start with your dragon. And you're gonna spray paint the whole thing with your leather brown spray paint, um, which I didn't do, but I suggest doing around the eyes here. I would paint that black and also the nose here, which I would probably do later. Um, I did not do the horns um, with a saran wrap or the tips of the wing or the claws or the back half of the, the wings or the very tip of the tail. Otherwise, it just wouldn't look very good if you did that. So you're gonna take a long piece of saran wrap and I started with the rib cage. You're gonna take your saran wrap all the way around it. I'm doing this one-handed, sorry. And you're gonna to wanna to wrap all the way around. Okay, all the way around. And you're gonna to wanna to tack it up there. Um, if your spray paint isn't tacky, use the tacky glue. That'll help hold it up there. Do the whole rib cage here and in the front here. Um, and after you do the rib cage, I would suggest using your heat gun on it um, just to keep it up there and in place so you don't start losing it. And then after you do that, I started with the leg. And you just take one long section, kind of long, not too long. And you're gonna wanna do it long ways. Again, it's kind of windy out here, one-handed, but you're gonna wanna take it long ways like this and you're gonna wanna wrap it wrap it around like this where it goes all the way around and you're going to do that all the way down to the end and then uh, you're going to use your heat gun and you're going to get that taken care of otherwise it's going to blow away on you and you do the same with all four legs and then after you get all four legs done you're going to want to come up here to this part i would do this part of the wing first on both sides get that tacked down and then of course, you know, you're gonna wanna do your neck the same way. You just wrap it totally around. And again, use your tacky glue if you need. And with the head, I would not suggest doing the saran wrap all the way around it. Sorry. All the way around this way because he's not gonna be able to open his mouth. So what I did, I just opened his jaw like this and did the saran wrap. I started on the inside and I just wrapped all the way around. And then you're gonna to wanna, to, again, secure that with your heat gun so it doesn't fly away on you. And the same with the head. And what I did with the head was I used a big piece of um, plastic wrap and I started up here and I, I po poked the horns through it to where there's a hole so it goes right over top of that. So that kind of helps it hold it. And the horn here with the same thing, you're gonna to wanna to poke the hole and it just put it right over top of the horn. And then again, use your heat gun, get that in place. Now with the wings, you're gonna have to do this in like four sections at least. So you're gonna wanna take your piece of saran wrap and you're gonna wanna go all the way around, but don't do the end of the horn. Just do it the tip here and go all the way around, okay? Make sure you leave a little bit here. You're going to want to push that in a little bit. Okay, you don't you don't want that tight. You're going to push it in so that when you heat shrink it, it, it doesn't look nasty. I mean, you've got a little bit of, of give there. Otherwise, it's going to get too tight and it's not going to look right. So make sure you leave some slack. And like I said, you're going to want it in three sections. You're going to want to do a section here with your saran strap from here all the way around and then again here, but you're gonna wanna overlap. Like if your saran wrap stops right here, take your other piece of saran wrap and overlap it a little bit so that you have a little bit of saran wrap that's, that's together here, all the way down. Now when you're done with all that, when you got all your heat gun stuff done to it, you're gonna wanna take your, your green paint and just kinda dab it a little bit. I don't know if you can see, see here where I messed up a little bit. 
when you put this on, you're going to want to wipe it off right away or you're going to get globs like this. Um, and that looks tacky. I might have to go back over and retouch that. But when you put it on there, you wipe it off right away. That way what it does, it just gets in the crevices here. Say so That way it just gives a little bit of a look. And then after you get the green patina on there, go back over it again with your leather brown spray paint. Okay, just don't overdo it. Just, you know, do it to where it looks good for you. Um, what else do I need to say here? Yeah, I think that about covers it. I mean, it's not that great of a tutorial, I'm sorry. Never done it before, so uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Like I said, with the twine, I just put the twines in between the holes here, and I frayed them at the edges, you know, just to give it a little bit more of a look. Thank you.